here we go. As promised, I'm going to teach you how to do a movement to strengthen your quad, hip, and glutes. Very easy. Okie dokie. You're going to need a couple things though. You'll need a booty blast band. Now, for best results, you want to have one that's made out of the rubbery stuff, not the cloth. And this movement is really awesome to correct internal rotation of the leg. And that leads to sciatic, hip issues, lower back pain, and sore knees. So, also, balance issue. Let's get going. So, we're going to get a therapy band and make a knot, a little small circle of it, and put it underneath a leg of a chair. The leg that you're working on, you need to have a cushion from the couch because you're going to push the floating leg down into it and we're going to skew it to the side of the chair. All right, we're going to use our ankle strap. Put that guy on. And before we hook everything up to strengthen the hip, and to correct that issue of the leg, put this on, and we want it right below the knee. Push out gently, we're gonna take our carabiner, hook it to the ankle strap and the little stretchy band that's on the leg of the chair. Ta-da, you're all good to go. Sit back into the backing of the chair. Make sure that both legs are in the right position Flex, floating foot, and up. Now, make sure that you're pushing down into the pillow and pretend there's a wall on the outside of the working leg. We don't want the leg to move sideways. We want the knee to stay straight up and down. And we want to have a nice lockout squeeze through the quad, having gentle pressure on the band at all times. If you know what leg is the weakest or if you're having pain in that leg, that's the leg that you'll go first with. And we wanna keep the repetitions high. So I would say your goal would be probably 30 reps per leg, unless I have told you otherwise. All right, now we're gonna to go to the other leg. We're gonna just unhook the carabiner. It's really not that big of a deal set up. It's just a couple moving parts. And we're going to get off, put the band on the other leg of the chair. Hook the ankle weight on. I mean the ankle strap, rather. Sorry. Move your cushion to the other leg. Scoop to the edge of the chair. Make sure you're set up. And go. Now, if you're having problems with your leg rolling in, it could be very slight, so it's very important that not only holding postural position, that your knee is staying in the right position. So if the weak leg can only get, let's say, 19 repetitions until it starts being wonky and you're not able to hold your position, all right, that's how many reps you do with the strong leg. As you get stronger and whatever joint needs it, then you'll be able to add more reps. Once you get to 30 reps easily per leg, I would suggest making the tension of the band that is hooked to the chair stronger so you need more resistance. Also, always use a medium or heavy booty blast band because you've got to have something to push against. All right, that'll do it. Your mission is every single night, 30 repetitions perfectly or whatever rep range that I told you about, okay? Until next time, have fun with this.